Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of our August Game of the Month, or the new Game of the Month, Game of the Month series that I'm going to be starting. Uh, as I've stated before, there's a, uh, in the, I guess it was episode 33, uh, where I kind of explain what I'm going to be doing with this new series, and uh, I'm going to go in depth with it, but uh, right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to this uh, document I wrote up in um, Google Docs. I'm going to be posting this so that you guys can have it and you can look at it. But uh, the idea for this series and what I'm going to be doing uh, is I want a simple, simple game, uh, fairly simple game, that uh, you and I can go ahead and complete together over a month's time. And the game is going to focus on a simple, a simple mechanic, maybe a couple mechanics that are just very easy to implement. We want to finish this game. We want to have a game finished under our belt so that we can show off to our family, friends, whoever, or just or just say for ourselves as motivation that, look, we finished a project. Uh, I think it's really important to have at least one project finished. Uh, I know I have several unfinished projects. Uh, I've completed a few, and just completing one of them was just amazing. It was awesome to say, hey, I've finished this. I've done. I've done. It works. It's kind of fun. Maybe it sucks. Who? It doesn't matter. As long as we get it done and we finish it, that's what we want to do. So, uh, for the month of August, I came up with a game that I'm going to call for now, unless you guys got a better name, uh, Cannon Assault. Uh, it's a simple uh, 2D game. Um, basically, you're going to control the angle of a cannon uh, cannon barrel, and it's going to go left or right. You know. 180 degrees, 0 to 180 degrees the cannon will go and you're going to fire the cannon uh, at different enemies that are dropping uh, bullets or shoot, firing bullets and dropping bombs on you and you're going to try to survive as long as you can. Uh, so there's <clears throat> the basic things that we're going to be looking at for this game is going to be uh, we're going to have health, we're going to have health bar, we're going to have a timer, uh, we're going to keep score and the score is going to be calculated based on our health, our uh, time, or not our health, excuse me. The amount of cannons we or missiles we destroy, the amount of enemies we destroy, and how long we're actually alive. Uh, the cannon health will be diminished based on the cannon getting hit by bullets, missiles, and bombs. Uh, the health will regenerate. I think you know all this is subject to change, but as of now, the health is going to regenerate based on time. Uh, maybe it regenerates five percent every twenty seconds. I don't know. That's easy adjustable. Once we figure some of those out, we're going to go ahead and put them back in this design document. And again, you guys will have this uh, at the start. Uh, there are going to be three different enemy types for right now. We have a helicopter that's going to fire bullets. It's going to fly over. And I'll actually draw a quick diagram for you guys to kind of show you what I'm talking about. But we'll have a, fly we'll have a helicopter that kind of flies in at different levels and just fires bullets at the cannon. Uh, you can't destroy the bullets, but you can destroy the helicopter for points. Uh, next, we'll have a plane that flies in. Uh, the plane where it's going to drop bombs. Uh, the bombs are going to hit harder than the bullets. You can destroy the bombs and you can destroy the plane. And then the last one is we have random missiles that are going to appear from a distance. They're going to come in randomly. Uh, they're going to do the most damage. You can destroy those uh, and you'll get more points. So basically, you'll get less points for a helicopter and you'll get more points for a random missile and medium amount of points for a plane. Uh, I don't know about the bullet or the bombs and missile or the, <clears throat> the bomb points yet but we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, the game scenes. This game is going to be simple like I said. That's what we're going to be focusing on. We're going to be focusing on creating a simple yet complete game. So uh, we're going to have three scenes. We're going to have a main menu, a play scene, and a game over scene. The main menu we can actually cut it down to two if we uh, eliminate the game menu screen and just add it onto the main or the game over screen and add it on the main menu. We might do that, uh, <clears throat> but uh, we're gonna have a main menu, and uh, the main menu is gonna have uh, several buttons. It's going to have a uh, play button, a view top ten high score button, and an exit button. Very simple. Uh, it's gonna have the title of the game. It's gonna have a develop by, and you can put your name. You can put whatever there. Uh, just something to kind of show off, I guess. And it's also going to, uh, in the scene, the actual scene movement, what I want to do is uh, basically create a simple loop of a gameplay, or maybe just have a couple random helicopters fly through and drop bombs. Nothing crazy, just something to add a little flavor to it. Uh, the play scene, the, this is where the game's going to take place. This is where you'll see the cannon in the center that you'll rotate, 
and uh, all the bombs and shooting will take place. So we'll have a health meter, a timer, and your score. The game over scene, uh, which again we might change, it might not be a separate scene, uh, is just going to show <coughs> your score. It's going to tell you if it's a new high score, and it's going to allow you to uh, select play again or exit. Um, or main menu. I go into a few scene details. We're going to add more to this as we actually create the scenes. Uh, again, you don't have to do this. This is just for me. I'm going to actually post this so you're going to see the updated version. I want you guys to use it if you continue on without me, if you want to use it later on, whichever, whatever you uh, feel like. Uh, I don't know the art style yet. Uh, I'm not a good artist. I'm going to try my best to uh, do some artwork. You're going to watch me do that. Uh, I might fast forward through it, you know, make it faster so you guys don't have to sit, you know, three hours of me doing artwork or something because that's boring. But I am going to be doing all the artwork for this. Uh, and I hope you guys try to do the artwork for yours as well because I think it will be fun to uh, do that. You know, because then we'll all kind of have our own little projects uh, and they won't be just copy pasted from mine. Um, going up, there's a few things that we're going to need, or software that you're going to need to do this. Uh, first off, you need Unity. Uh, I'm using Unity 4.5.2F. Uh, basically, we're going to be using the 2D toolkit. I've never used the 2D toolkit. Uh, so it's going to be completely new for me. So it's going to be a lot of fun to learn. You're going to see me struggle. You're going to see me fail. But that's all right because we're going to learn together. So you're going to need, <clears throat> you don't necessarily need 4.5.2, but you need uh, the late, a version of Unity that has the 2D toolkit in it. Uh, at least that's what I suggest. I'm going to be using Inkscape to do the artwork. Inkscape is a free vector drawing program. It's a lot easier than uh, like Photoshop with bitmap, I think. Um, uh, the there's a link here. I can put the link in under the videos as well. You're going to need model develop or some sort of uh, equivalent so that we can script. We're going to be using C Sharp. I use C Sharp uh, exclusively uh, for Unity. Um, again, that comes with Unity. So if you download Unity, you should have model develop. If not, uh, you can go ahead and find the download link for that. You're going to need an internet browser. I use Chrome. doesn't matter what you use. But uh, we're going to need to be finding things to download and referring to the, uh, the Unity reference guide. So make sure you have some sort of browser. Uh, I have here access to sound and music. Um, I use freesound.org. It is a great asset. It has people who recorded their own sounds and there's some music on it. But it's basically it's commercial uh, license-free or, or commercial license use was it uh, I can't remember the, creative commons use so basically you can use it for commercial use you can use it for free most of the time you don't need to sh uh, say who did it or used it who created it uh, which is great for our purpose uh, I'm not trying to sell this game I, uh, I don't know if, if you watch that other video but as I mentioned this game will be uploaded for your use once we're done so at the end of the month once we finish this game you'll be up on the internet you guys can take it use it modify it do whatever you want with it I don't care but we'll have a finished game uh, another thing we probably won't use for this game but we'll probably be using or I will be using in the future is blender I provided a link for it it's a 3d art program it does a lot more than just 3d stuff uh, I'm not good at it good with it yet still trying to learn but uh, it's the link is there for you Again, I'll put all these links uh, below the video in the description. I'll also put the link to this document. Uh, this is the web page for Inkscape. Go ahead and download it here. The download page for Unity. And uh, this is free sound. This is where we get all the sounds. Uh, I'm going to show a few things. Uh, first, I'm going to go, I'm going to jump in and in Inkscape. This is what Inkscape looks like. Uh, you can uh, hold control, zoom in and out. Uh, holding control and using your mouse button, uh, shift to go left and right. Uh, basically, this is what the empty page or the blank page new document looks like. And uh, I thought I'd go ahead and draw real quick for you guys a simple idea of what I think the game the game will look like when we start playing. Uh, don't mind the colors. This is just uh, the base color. I can change them. Uh, we're we're gonna go ahead uh, when I do when we actually go ahead and do the artwork for the game we're gonna I'm gonna use this program and kind of go through like this and uh, you can I'll do a quick few things you can control and D to duplicate you can uh, make them smaller so maybe we want like a darker brown let's see 
as our base something like that and you can grab the gradient tool which is right here maybe we can drag up not what we want anyways this is what we'll do go ahead delete don't need to be doing this but anyways we'll get into that uh, I just wanted to show you a quick idea of what we're going to be doing so let's say this is our ground here this brown spot right here and what I'm building now I'm going to drop in is our cannon so let's say this is our cannon our base cannon we're going to actually have a uh, there's a square we're going to actually have like let's say this is the barrel we're going to put a barrel on the cannon and let's make it a little smaller and what it's going to do so say this is our cannon drag it down a little bit make it look a little better this this barrel is just going to rotate like that and it's going to fire every which way and uh the basic idea is you're going to use you're going to left click your mouse button and it's going to fire as fast as we can i guess and then we're going to rotate using our mouse left and right and it's going to move it uh, left and right so if you move it left it'll go left you move it right go right and then we're going to have um, I said this is the ground we'll have little like planes flying in here like this uh, let's say I'll be a plane we'll use a green we'll make another one okay control Z this would be let's say this is uh, the plane we got a helicopter, a plane. This will drop bombs. This is just going to fire at it. It's only going to fire at it if it can. So if it's coming, so if the let's say the helicopter's coming in this way, you know, towards this plane, it's only going to fire for a short amount of time and it's going to be gone. But you can still shoot at it and blow it up for points. Okay. And then down here, what we'll do <clears throat> is we'll put our health bar. So let's say health is red. Pretty simple. Oh shoot. Go ahead. We're gonna make a health bar down here. We'll say like this is health. That'll be our health bar. Uh, and then we'll do. We'll have our time. We'll put time here, so we can show our time off here. And then maybe uh, we can even have what we do. What, we'll, what we can do when we fine tune the game. Let's say. Uh, we make this game and it's working fine and it's kind of fun but we need to have like an energy source maybe you can fire way too fast so what we can do is add like an internal uh, not internal but we can add an energy source so maybe like it heats up the faster you fire and you can see that build and it, and it hits the top then it freezes for like 10 seconds but basically this is the the premise of what we want and uh, actually we need another one of these for like uh, score maybe we'll put score up here and uh, Let's say we'll change it to actually say score. We'll put score up there. And so you'll see your total high score. When the planes blow up, you'll see the score flash on the screen. But this is the basic idea of what we want or what we're going to do. Uh, if you have suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Write all you want. Please tell me what you think. Uh, but this is the basic idea of what I'm going to go with for August. And hopefully we'll finish. I believe we can do it. Uh, so now that we got that, we're going to go ahead and jump into Unity. Take a sip of water real quick. So in Unity, I went ahead, I went ahead and created a new uh, project. And I labeled it August Game of the Month, or GTOM, Cannon and Assault. Okay, so that's the name. Uh, if, and I set, it under, I set it up as a 2D uh, toolkit instead. So what you do when you go to a new project... You can go ahead and browse wherever you want to put your project, but go ahead under Setup Defaults 4 and set it to 2D, okay? Because that's what I did. That's what we're going to have. And basically, what that's going to do, it's going to set up our camera for 2D. It puts in orthographic. Uh, the scene is set up for 2D. You can still rotate around, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure though. I haven't, like I said, this is my first time ever using our 2D toolkit. And uh, so now we're going to actually jump in and start doing this. We're going to start building this game right now. So the first thing I like to do is create folders. So uh, to try to stay organized. So we're going to create a scenes folder. This is going to store two scenes. We're going to have a scripts folder. I will move it out just a second. I'm going to grab the folder. 
Uh, we're going to create, uh, let's say, sound file, sounds. We'll do music. Let's say, uh, we'll do artwork. And that should be good for now. We're going to go ahead and save this scene. And uh, as you see, I'm in my computer. I'm, I'm in my directory where I save things. And under the scene, I'm going to go ahead and click the folder scenes that we just created. And we're going to call this main menu. So we here we have our main menu scene. I'm going to go ahead and create a new scene. We're going to save it again. We're going to save. And we're going to call it the play scene. And I didn't save it under scenes, but that's okay. You can click it on the project hierarchy and drag it up to scenes. And it places it in that folder for us. So now we have two. We have our two main scenes. Like I said, I think I'm going to keep... Uh, our menu scene, main menu scene, and just have that be part of our game over scene. And uh, then what we're going to go ahead in our scripts folder, we're going to create a couple subfolders, and we're going to call it main menu. And then we'll call it another folder. We'll go play scene. Uh, let's go to scripts. So that even that's going to organize even more. Go ahead in our main menu, you can double click on it, make sure that we're in that uh, script folder. We're in our main menu scene, double click to check. Go in our main menu and we're going to create a new C Sharp script. And we're going to call this main menu GUI. Going to open that up and should open up Mono Develop. And we did. So here we go, we're in Mono Develop right now. We're going to start, we're going to do some coding. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and raise these few comments. For this video, I'm going to try my best to um, comment things for you guys so that you can really get an understanding because this is set for beginners as well. It's not just for advanced users. But uh, the next thing we're going to do is void on GUI. And this is where we're going to use our main menu items. So if, we, if I go ahead and go back to our uh, design document here, in our scene details, I said the scene's gonna have three buttons: a title, and a signature, and uh, some sample gameplay in the background. We're gonna have the three buttons are gonna be play, high score, and exit. So what we want to do is go up here, and we're gonna actually create our string. So we're gonna go private string. Uh, we're gonna go game title. We're gonna set that equal to. Canon Assault. We're going to go private string uh, game developer. And I'm going to put uh, hardly brief Dan. Uh, we'll go private string uh, play button title. And we'll set that equal to play game private. Oh nope. Where we go? Private. Come on, why is that happening? Private. String play. Or let's see. What did I say? We got high score button. So we'll go high score title or button title. You don't have to name these the way I name them. If you have a better nomenclature, if you have a different way, you have a different game title, whatever. You know, this is just what I'm going to be doing. Uh, experiment. It's always good. You'll learn uh, better that way. Private string. Uh, what's the last? We want to quit exit. We'll call it exit. Game button title equals exit game so here we created uh, four strings or five strings excuse me we got our game title our um, developer tag our play game our high scores and our exit